Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This will be the final video for chapter 6 in which we are going to discuss example 5 about a gravitational field strength. So example 5 is similar with example 4. Okay, so you can try example 5 first before you watch this video. So soalan dia dikata an astronaut standing on the surface of Ceres, the largest asteroid, drop rocks from a height of 10 meter. It takes so the height is 10 meter. It takes 8.06 seconds to hit the ground. So calculate the acceleration of gravity on Ceres. The acceleration of gravity on Ceres can be calculated by using uh, equation in chapter 2. So macam soalan ni kata, initially the stone is 10 meter high and then it takes Eight point zero six second to reach the ground, so the height is ten meter. So we can calculate by using s is equals to u t minus half a g t square. Okay, so kalau dalam chapter two, uh, s is equals to u t minus half a t square, tapi sebab G is for gravitational acceleration on the surface of the earth. So, saya tak guna simbol G dalam kes ini sebab ini kes seras. So, saya gantikan uh, G tu dengan AG ataupun gravitational acceleration. Uh, simbol yang uh, general bagi gravitational acceleration. Tak kira lah di mana pun, di planet mana pun kita akan gunakan AG. Okay, so the S is negative 10. Since the ball is released, u is zero. So, yang tinggal hanyalah half a g times 8.06 t square. Uh, 8.06 square. And you will get a g is equals to 0 0.308 meter per second square. So, this is very small compared to Earth's 9.81 meter per second. Sebab saya rasa hanyalah satu. Asteroid. Asteroid tidak sebesar bumi. Okay, walaupun dia largest asteroid, tetapi dia tidak sebesar bumi. Okay, B. Find the mass of Ceres. Given that the radius of Ceres RC is 5.1 exponent 2 km. So, 5.1 exponent 2 km. Ingat, kita nak guna dalam ni. Meter. Nanti kita tukarkan. Okay. So, this value, AG, is the gravitational acceleration on the surface of Ceres. So, kita boleh cari mass dia dengan gunakan AG is equals to G mass Ceres over R C square. So, let's say we have Ceres. Value AG tu adalah dekat dekat surface. And this is the radius of Ceres. So, kita boleh substitute value 0 0.308 is equals to g is 6.67 exponent negative 11 times the mass of Ceres over 5.1 exponent 2 kilometer so exponent 3 square okay so the answer is 1.2 exponent 21 Kilogram. So that's the answer for B. Okay, make sure you put your units semua dalam SI. SI unit. And C. Calculate the gravitational acceleration 50 km from the surface of Ceres. So dekat sini dia bagi altitude. Ha, ini untuk untuk C. Okay, bagi soalan C. 
Yang mana the height is given 50 kilometer. So we can apply equation gravitational acceleration, gravitational field strength, G M C over R C plus H square. Sorry. So ini sebenarnya dia punya dia punya R dalam soalan C diukur daripada center of Ceres and then we just substitute the value 6.67 exponent negative 11 times uh, the mass of Ceres kita dapat dalam soalan B tadi 1.2 exponent 21 over uh, radius of Ceres is 5.1 exponent 2 kilometer saya boleh tulis juga exponent 5 plus 50 kilometer square and the answer is 0 0.255 meter per second square so makin jauh dengan uh, objek ataupun planet tu makin berkurang gravitational acceler acceleration ok so that's all for chapter 5 Okay Dan uh, saya harap pelajar semua dah tamat dah tengok video Dan nanti saya akan bagi soalan tambahan Dan kita buat dan mudah-mudahan ada, ada soalan yang pelajar Okay Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh